Hey guys, got another video here. This is going to be a review on a customized Mega Bloks Call of Duty series product. This is a mobile command outpost center. It was called Outpost and there are many different ones. There's a Arctic one for the snow, there's a couple red ones, and then there's also a World War II one. But this one I think is the best because it's military green already. It's got a power system with an opening door right there. And it's got a satellite dish. Another thing I really liked about it was all the things you can do to it. Anyone who has this product or has seen it knows that it does not have this much stuff on it, hardly. Especially this one. All it ever came with was a couple of these gray panel pieces on the top, this power system, and this satellite dish, which did not have these two gray pieces. I put those there with the red piece. It had this black piece right here with this antenna on here. And that looked okay, but I wanted it to look better, and I'm always changing things. I also, uh, I guess we're just going to go into it already. So another thing I put in was this antenna, just a makeshift extra one, just to look like some type of thing that, boop, going around like that. If I had a revolver, maybe I'll put a motor in. This I made myself. It's a security camera for when there's a guy inside here, which I do have one. It's an entire mobile command center inside here, and I'll show you. It'll be really cool. Trust me. But yeah, it's got the light on to show it's on. It's got the lens cap right there. And yeah, you can swivel, go down, check high, 360 view. I really wanted to put that on. Um, what else? I got a ladder back here. So when the guy needs to come out, he can just flip that up for a little bit of an incline and go up, take care of his business, come down, put it back down. Uh, another obvious thing that I did that everyone can already see is I put a power system here. Everyone will know that this is a lighting unit from Bandai, and it is really cool. It's used for, I think it's used for a Gundam, I'm pretty sure, but um, I thought it was perfect for this. I'm a amateur in lighting. This is my first product, or first project, rather, where I wanted to actually put some electrical stuff in it and make it look real. I wanted to try and take this apart and put all the pieces in here, but I don't think that's possible to do unless you really know what you're doing, and I don't. So we're going with this. I didn't even super glue this on or peg it on. I just put a command strip right there, just because I'm not sure I wanted to super glue it yet, but in the meantime, put the wires under there, had to bore out those little holes because I thought the light would fit in the original ones, but they didn't, so I had to bore those out and pop those in. So uh, those work out pretty well. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it for the top, yeah. I got these two things here just to act like extra things, just to make the top look more busy. Doesn't really serve a purpose. I put a cord here, a wire, uh, just to make it look like there's power running in, and on the inside there actually is a little flat couple of Lego pieces I put, I mean Mega Bloks pieces, <clears throat> to make it look like the power's going in and coming out in the inside to be routed through the thing. I also put one of the little wires that it comes with on the inside just to make it look like the power's going in, which also goes into a little homemade piece I made that makes it look like that. But you guys will get to see the inside. Put electrical tape on the bottom, four squares on the top to cover the big holes and everything so I can really make the light stay in here. It's not too dark right now, but I will show you the light when I open the door because it's very cool. And then I'm going to take this apart to really show you guys the inside of everything and just all the cool stuff I did. So just open that. We'll open that, make sure everything's good. All right, I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay, so here it is dark, even though you can see. And there are the lights on, two in the top. We got one right here in front of all his equipment and everything, and one right above him. And that's what it looks like on the inside. That is um, Soap, Soap McTavish or whatever, from um, Call of Duty. He just looks cool, because he looks cool, yeah. So let's take this apart. First, we're going to take off the top. More careful next time. <laughs> and here's an overview. Right there, an overhead view of everything. Going to start with the back wall. So here's his back wall. I put a little black rack up here so it could have his vest. And a shovel hooked right there with an X uh, double X piece. Uh, got a back two backpacks here with a walkie-talkie, a grenade, and a canteen ready to go, and a hook under there to keep it on. We got another little mini rack right here with his uh, extra headset. We got two guns for him ready to go. 
up top here a little Lego, uh, Lego a little um, leg piece for when he can put his uh, accessories on there here's the power piece I was talking about where the wire comes in on the top right there makes it look like it's going down he's got a bow right here cool bow from one of the other figures that I put there for when he's doing stuff and yeah here's the back here's that power system I was talking about the second one where that little wires coming in and then comes in here it's like a conduit that red light is supposed to be like an indicator in case anyone gets close to a certain perimeter or a certain amount of feet into his perimeter that would go off and let him know if he has time to escape and if not I made this cool little thing which is just a makeshift bomb where this is a claymore attached to like I would in my imagination I just make him out to be like C4 co uh, cylinders cylinders made out of pure C4 that would just totally blow up and that would be a little I guess like a cap uh, to distribute um, flammable liquid to really just destroy everything um, let me take this off this side so I can show you the front wall now and then I'll show you the basic back so here's the front wall these two computer screens are from the Atlas Trooper set uh, I couldn't really find anything and I do not have a printer right now to make my own things and I'm just gonna when I do I'm gonna print one decal and put it over this because it's just the exosuit and it's supposed to be modern time right now and not have that but this I really like that's what it should look like so I'm gonna keep that more systems where it looks like the cords are being fed through right here on the flat panel pieces another rack with a satchel he's got a shotgun right here which is under the bed which I'll show you which is down here so if he someone comes in he can just doesn't even have to get out of his bed he just has to sit up pull the shotgun down right there at the door put another rack here with a flat panel piece just to help him like get up another x piece right here just for just for looks keep it busy and the greatest piece and really cool is his little desk center and his bed right here and he's got a bin that has a baseball bat a handgun with a suppressor and an arrow for his bow Got this little table I just made out of some pieces real quick. I really love the way it looks with the bar under there, too. Got this laptop from the Terminator series, the Time Machine, because I couldn't find too many good laptops. And this one looks perfect, and it has green writing on it, so that's pretty cool. This is actually an old Lego drawer piece, and I just wanted it because I couldn't find anything. It's cool. It's got stuff in there to act like a extra monitor or power system to help his uh, monitors and everything. I made this chair. It's not that good. I could do better, but I'm not that good at making chairs. I just started, and that's my first one, so there's that. On the new Call of Duty figure sets, they finally come with headsets that aren't just molded on the head. It is actually on there, and it looks really, really cool and helps make him look like he's doing some stuff. Also, here's his bed, two sandbags, and these flat panel pieces just to look like a pillow and I even cut this out of a lens cloth and rolled it up and used these bendy metal wires that are made to hold like action figure arms and I put that right there when it's on which I'll show you right now Arr! I gave that thing a good whack but not, nothing really came off that's another thing I did I made sure everything in here I can shake this thing up and the only things that'll come out are the guns the the arrow and the baseball bat out of the bin and the blanket everything else stays in place perfectly i even had to put this this lego piece here and the like this mega blocks flat piece so i could actually stack more stuff on because there's not too many connector holes um automatically on the bottom floor of this container but yeah that's basically the whole thing like I said the possibilities are endless with customizing this and making it look so cool and I don't like tooting my own horn but this one looks just awesome it really looks like a mobile command center and with all his stuff right there ready to go his laptop show you guys again with the light on you got to be careful while you're putting this thing on too you don't want to pinch any wires, any cords. Push that in and yeah. 
I just think that looks so cool, especially with the lights. I am going to get some fixtures soon, like Lego saucers, those little dishes that have the little cup instead of just a hole through it. It's a little cup that you can put in. And I'll have to bore those out, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think the whole light will fit. Like the bulb will fit, but not the little cap over that, the under it. So, But isn't that cool, guys? I think so. I love the multi-screen system with the laptop. His accessories, everything he needs in the back. I even tried to make like a locking system with this baton. A friend of mine who uh, is also a big toy guy told me about that when I told him, oh, I wish I had a working lock. And he said, just use a baton piece. And I had something close to that. So thank you very much, Brian, for that good piece of advice. But yeah, that's it, guys. There it is with the light on. There it is with it off. I highly recommend you get one of these and do what I did or even more. There are a lot of people out there that can do much more uh, modifications on this because they can add their own systems and stuff like that and more wires. So I look forward to seeing if I can get into that and get a little smarter with this and come back to a video with it updated. But for now, this is it. I hope you guys like it. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take it easy.